Looking at the channel here, I found a couple charts. One on gold. Now, on gold here, on a daily time frame, we have a typical growth fractal. All right. Leg, a smaller leg, a little dip, and then a turn. Okay. You call. A growth fractal here. We expect the trend to go up. You put a stop here. It breaks a stop. The trend will go down. That's called a reversal. Uh, in the meantime, if you look at the other time frames, the gold is uh, pretty bullish. Okay, uh, that can be a future setup on a weekly basis. If you're not a day trader, uh, a good trade here for a couple of weeks, maybe going into the quarter, would be uh, a good opportunity here. Okay, again, you, uh, you put your stop here, all right, and you go long. Now, we're looking at the uh, futures of the contract here. Do one contract. If it continues to go up, add one more contract. And then add one more contract okay a typical growth fractal look at the form leg down leg down leg down turn to fractals point to a turn okay what do we have here look at that oil look at that leg down leg down a little dip a turn okay you want to do a trade? You put your stop here. You go along. If it breaks the channel, you flip, and the trend will be down. Now look at the similarity between the gold growth fractal and the oil growth fractal. Almost identical. Now the gold fractal is a standalone fractal all by itself. Now the oil fractal is it nested within the larger fraction. Okay, that's okay. If we have the similarity being displayed, okay, which we do have here, right, uh, that confirms the growth fractal. Do you see it? Okay, we'll go to another market here. What do we have here? Look at that. We have another growth fractal, a nested growth fractal. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, history tells us that if we have a nested growth fractal, as we did here, it turned quite a bit up. Okay. What do you think is going to happen here? We have a nested growth fractal, almost identical to here. Okay, you're looking at a similarity, and you can find that on any market, on any time frame. I just went through a, a couple charts tonight uh, to point out that all you need to do, look at the picture in the form. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're looking at an art form. Fractals are very complex patterns. At times, they can be exact. Uh, generally, they're very similar. Okay. Then they can also be semi-quasi, which is a little bit more advanced, but we'll, we'll get into that later. But right now, what you want to do, you want to look for a similarity. Okay. So we got three similarities here. One, two, three okay these are setups okay you're looking into january february march you got some good trades here now on copper okay uh we have another growth fractal here uh, a bit different 
But again, leg down, leg, leg. And we have a bottom here. If you want to do a trade, you put your stop here. And you watch the turn go up. If we break the bottom of the channel here, it'll turn down. You flip and you get out. Okay. Whoa. Treasury notes. Okay. What do we got here? Well, we got Typical uh, decaying fractal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, leg, 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 leg. Now the legs are a little uh, different, but um, you'll you'll find this on other markets. Okay, so uh, what you can do here, uh, the top of the decaying fractal, right here, you sort one contract, and then you watch go down. And you're looking at the other time frames, and then you add. You break the bottom here even further down. Okay. Now, I did post <clears throat> this particular uh, uh, fractal. Um, it was back in January. We had a slider bottom, a very typical growth fractal. And look what happened. Okay. Uh, you have a leg, you have a slide down. You have a leg that's the bottom of the fractal you go along put your stop there and you watch the trend go up now the trend will not go up you know in a line right up right yeah it's going to bounce around but um when the bottom held okay it continued to go up uh, your best typical reliable golden fractal is that slider equal leg equal leg you got a little slide down all you have to do during a week on any market look for the golden fractal okay your risk is defined on the bottom and on the top so uh if the market does decide to change doesn't mean if you're right or wrong you're mapping the market okay Look what happened. All right. Ah, getting back to the bigger, big picture on the market. Uh, I believe I did post this uh, back in January. Uh, I didn't get top tick on that, but we have a typical decaying fractal and it's going our way. All right. Here's the top, here's the bottom. You short here, you put a stop here, one contract, you got plenty of time, you're on a weekly time frame here, and as it uh, continues to go down, you can add another contract, okay, depending on your on your risk. All right. Now on the transports, <laughs> I did uh post this I believe back in January, along with uh the NYA, and we have a decaying fractal here. I think we've got top tick on that. Again, top, the bottom. You short here, you put your stop. One contract, then you add as you go down and you look for other fractals in this area here, all right, and we'll continue to go down. So based on the... Uh, uh, transports and the NYA and the Treasury 10 year yield, uh, they're going up. Uh, the big picture is bearish. Okay. I'm not using any news, any information, no algorithms. Uh, I'm only looking at a similarity. If you watch the tree grow, the branch breaks, you know what's going to happen. Maybe it won't break, it'll start growing again. That's what we're doing with the market here. Okay. Again, you're looking for similarities. Well, you got one here. You got one here. You got one here. All different markets, different time frames. Okay. You got to set up here. You got to set up here. And this happened before in the past. And the setup that we uh, began in uh, December here appears to be working 
So as we fall, uh, we look at other time frames to uh, add to the uh, embarrassed diagram here that we're going down. It's time to back up the truck. Uh, the transports were, I think we got that top tech when I put that uh, chart up there, okay? So again, uh, you're looking for similarities. They're not going to be exact. Nothing's exact in the world. And you can do the technique on a stock, FX, gold, silver, uh, indices, options. Uh, that takes a lot of work. But um, again, just a reminder that we're looking for similarities. And uh, the very market uh, still in trend here on the NYA. Uh, we're going to have a bad quarter, I believe. Uh, we have to keep the top here intact. That's holding. We have to keep the top and top intact here. That's holding. The big picture is bearish. Okay. But it really doesn't matter because, uh, you have a bull and bear market every day, every hour, every market. Okay. Uh, the key is to find the familiar fractals. You can find the fractals on, <clears throat> on Neil's uh, channel. He'll explain them to you. Okay. And all you have to do, take a picture when, uh, he, uh, does a post and you match them to another market. That's all you have to do. Okay. And again, you can always define the risk. You know when the market's going to change. Uh, you see the green light and you see the red light. Okay. If you uh, have a, a green light, you go. If the green light turns red, you're going down the other way. All right. So um, uh, simply you're looking at green lights and red lights. All right, uh, big picture is red. Okay, thank for Nikki signing off. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning.